Hey gang, today we're going to be looking at systems of equations, which just means we're going to be graphing more than one equation on a coordinate plane at a time. When a set of equations are listed together, they are called a system of equations. These equations have solutions just like algebraic equations. They may have one, none, or infinite solutions that can be found algebraically or graphically. So today we're going to fo focus on solving these systems graphically and only looking at ones with one solution. To determine the solution to a system of equations graphically, you're going to graph each equation using its slope and y-intercept. Then you're going to find where the equations intersect. This is the solution. Last, you're going to state the solution and prove that it satisfies each equation. So here's our first one. So in this equation, we see that the y-intercept is 6. So we start up at 6. And the slope is negative 2. So we go down 2 over 1 repeatedly. Then we use a nice straight edge and draw our line through the points. And because we're drawing two lines, it's really important that we label it with its function, function rule. Then we're going to graph the second one, y equals 1 half x minus 4, by starting at negative 4 and going up 1 over 2 repeatedly, or down 1 left 2. Again, take your straight edge or ruler, draw a nice straight line through those points, arrows on both ends, and label it with its function rule. And we see that they intersect at this point here. And this coordinate is 1, 2, 3, 4, so 4 on the x, and 1, 2, negative 2 on the y, making the solution 4, negative 2. So to prove that that works in both, I just plug it in. So we do negative 2 equals negative 2 times 4 plus 6. So that's negative 2 equals negative 8 plus 6. So negative 2 equals negative 2. So it satisfies the first one. Then we do the same in the second. Negative 2 equals 1 half of 4 plus 6. So, or minus 4 rather, not plus 6. I'm looking at the second equation, the first equation. So we get negative 2 equals 2 minus 4, or negative 2 equals negative 2. So it satisfies both equations, proving that it should be the point where they intersect. And we've done that one completely. Let's take a look at another example. In this example, again, we start with our first equation, y equals 3x minus 7, which means we start at negative 7 on the y-axis. And then we go up 3 over 1 repeatedly. Draw our line neatly through the points with arrows on both ends. And label it with its function rule. Second equation is negative 2 thirds x plus 4. So we start at positive 4. And then we go down 2, right 3 repeatedly, or up 2, left 3 repeatedly. Okay, draw your line neatly through that. Arrows on both ends with the equation on the line. So again, we see that this point here is where they intersect and is the point of solution. So that's at positive 3 on the x-axis and positive 2 on the y-axis. So our solution is 3, 2. And again, we can check it by plugging it in. So we have for the first one, we plug in 2 for the y equals 3 times 3 minus 7. So 2 equals 9 minus 7, which we know is correct. Then for the second, we do the same. 2 equals negative 2 thirds of 3 plus 4. So that's 2 equals negative 2 plus 4 because the 3's cancel out. So again, 2 equals 2, and we've gotten it right, proving that that is the point where the two lines will intersect if graphed. And we see that on the graph. All right, let's take a look and see if we're going to do another example together. And you lucky ducks, we are. So here is our third example. Again, we start by graphing negative x plus 3. So we start at 3 on the y-axis and then go down 1 over 1 since the slope is negative 1.
draw a nice straight line through those points, arrows on both ends, and label it with its function rule. Okay, then we graph the second equation, y equals 1 fourth x minus 2, starting down at negative 2, going up 1 over 4, up 1 over 4, or down 1 left 4, and down 1 left 4 again. Nice straight line through those points. Arrows on both ends, and label again with the function rule. And again, we see that the point of intersection would be this point right here, which is at positive 4, negative 1. So we can check that that works in both equations by substituting in the negative 1 for the y and the positive 4 for the x. So negative 1 equals negative 4 plus 3. So negative 1 equals negative 1. That one works. Then negative 1 equals 1 fourth of 4 minus 2. So negative 1 equals 1 minus 2. And again, that one also works. So we've proven that that would be the point where the two lines would intersect when graphed, just like we see on the graph. Okay, so you're going to be on your own trying numbers 4 through 6. Then you're going to come back to the video to try the last two with me. Now, for the last two, I'm going to do 7 with you. You're going to do 8 on your own. We have to state the system of the problems graphed and prove that the solution satisfies both equations. So our system in this case is the two equations from the graph. So we have to figure out, well, what is the equation of each line? Well, this one right here has a y-intercept of 3, so it's y equals something plus 3. And if we look at the slope, it's up 2 and over 3. So it's 2 thirds x plus 3, first equation. Then if we look at the second line, this one here, we see that it crosses at negative 5. And if we look for the slope, it's going down 2 and over 1. So that makes the equation y equals negative 2x minus 5. And our solution is negative 3, 1. So we're going to prove that that works by plugging it in. So 1 is the y equals 2 thirds of negative 3 plus 3. So 1 equals, cancels out, makes this negative 2 plus 3. And 1 equals negative 2 plus 3, which is 1. So it definitely works for the first equation, which is a hint that we were on the right direction with making those equations. Then we try the second. 1 equals negative 2 times negative 3 plus 5, or 1 equals 6, sorry, not plus 5 right away, I thought I did something wrong, minus 5, and 1 equals 1. So again, we know we did it correctly. So again, you're going to try the last problem on your own. Please make sure you're checking in with me so I can be sure that you're getting it right before moving on to today's exit ticket.